Yeah, I know it looked a little rough around the edges this morning with the hair clips in and all. But I just wanted to tell you all to be encouraged. And although I am a licensed natural hairstylist, nothing replaces me going to the beauty shop to Hire Beauty, which is a luxury hair care salon that I go to frequently. And um, wow, it's a wonderful experience. However, I'm trying to make do considering that salons are not open and available. So I'm improvising and doing a little something, something on my own, but I cannot wait to get back into the salon. Until then, I want to encourage you all to really, really engage in self-love and self-care. So I added a little bit to my self-care by instead of going to the salon like I would love to do to um, just experience my wonderful higher beauty natural hair care experience, I'm choosing to do a little something at home. And I'm also choosing to spend more time caring for my skin. Uh, caring for my skin is a normal thing. It's a part of my daily skincare regimen is what I do. But I thought, why not do a little something extra and share with my audience a little bit about my entire daily skincare regimen. So we're going to be looking at four products today made by yours truly, Yolaine. And um, we're going to start with our liquid African black soap. And we're going to follow up with our Youth Dew, which is our facial toner. And then we're going to close out with our new product, our Rose Water. And for those of you with really dry skin, our Facial Serum. Okay, so we'll get into details about each product as I proceed through this video. So the first thing we're going to do is take a wash with our African black soap. So we're going to splash the face with water. And after you've wet your face really well with water, which is another added bonus of having the hair clips this morning, then you're going to take our African black soap. And you're only going to apply a few drops to the hand. You're going to work up a lather. And you're going to proceed with washing your face. Okay? Because there's probably a lot of oil on your skin, you're going to want to rinse and repeat to get that rich lather that we all like. So I've rinsed. And I'm repeating just a few drops. Not a lot. Working up a lather. And as you can see, I get a really rich lather that second go around after I remove that first layer of dirt and oil. I request that you rub upward motions on your face. Do not pull down on the skin. Okay, do not put it down on the skin. Upward motions, and you're going to rinse. Okay, so now that I've rinsed, my next step is to pat dry. Do not wipe down on the skin. Gravity already pulls down. Time causes your skin to sag. And we don't want to add to that by pulling down on the skin. So I recommend that you pat dry, use upward motions, and that's it. Our second step is we want to close those pores. We want to have an opportunity to remove any excess dirt that may have accumulated that the black soap did not remove. And so my next step is to use a toner. The toner is really good for people who are suffering with acne, who are um, suffering with blemishes, who have really large and enlarged pores. So our facial toner is our blend of organic gray witch hazel and essential lavender oil. That's it. Very simple ingredients, organic ingredients, 
vegan friendly ingredients. So you're gonna take a cotton ball or a cotton swab like I have. I just squirt a few drops onto your cotton ball. And once again, you're gonna wipe upward. I really like to use it underneath my neck. I'm 50 years old, or excuse me, 51 years old, and sometimes you get a little extra wrinkage, wrinkles, make up a new word, wrinkage. You get a few extra wrinkles here. So you wanna use the toner to kind of tighten and tone that area under there. And as you can see, even though I washed my face, there's still a little extra excess dirt that the toner was able to remove. So I'm gonna get a clean cotton ball, and I'm gonna add a few more drops of toner and get across that forehead. And because I did use a product on my hair last night, um, I wanna get some of that excess product from my hair off of my forehead. Sometimes we can have breakouts across our forehead because our hair is not clean or our hair is filled with chemical products that we put on here or heavy moisturizers that we put on our hair. So you do want to take time to clean across that forehead overnight and remove that excess oil. Okay, and so yeah, it still was able to get some more dirt off. Okay, so um, the next thing I'd like to recommend, and this is really good for people who um, don't have oily skin. This is a new product that I'll be promoting and uploading to my website today. This is rose water. And so what I've taken is um, some rose essential oils, some rose hip essential oil and um, water and mixed it together to give you an organic rose water spray. It took me a while to come out with this product because I wanted something that didn't have to be refrigerated but something that didn't have a lot of chemicals in it in order to give it a little bit longevity with the shelf life. So um, with most of our products, we do use food grade ingredients. And because of that, we do not um, recommend that you keep them over six months. They do not have a long shelf life, organic, fresh, clean. And uh, we want to encourage you to remove toxins, to remove impurities and to really live an organic, a uh, vegan friendly lifestyle. Uh, we spend a lot of time adding things that are um, impure because uh, we want something that's gonna last a long time. I also want to remind you that you're not gonna get immediate results with an organic skincare line like your Lane's Enhancing Skincare. It's gonna take time. You're gonna have to be diligent about using these products on a daily basis. You can't use them one day and not use them the next. You need to use them every day and you will see the results over time. But we're living in a world where we want everything to be immediate and things don't happen organically immediately. The two don't go together. You've got to take time to use something that is very simplistic, that comes from nature without adding a lot of things that we feel are gonna make our skin totally flawless. You're gonna have some imperfections, but being diligent, using things that are free, uh, excuse me, free of um, extra sulfites, uh, high in alcohol content, um, I've even seen labels with things that have, um, which use an environment fluid, um, all kinds of crazy stuff that they put in products. They do it because they want to give the product more shelf life. They do it because they want to put things in it that are going to continue to dry your skin out so that you will use the product over and over again and your body will want and need more. Well, with your Lane's Enhancing Skin Care products, our products are 100% organic, vegan friendly, food grade ingredients. We tell people don't put anything on your body that you can't put in your body. Don't put anything on your body that you can't put in your body. So we're gonna look at our rose water. And with our rose water, it can actually be used in the hair, it can be used on the face, 
Um, you, it's a spritzer. You're going to mist your face with it. You can mist your hair with it. Now, if you are um, wearing your hair where it is uh, chemically processed and straightened, or you have a natural hairstyle that has been rotted, um, that has had to go underneath the dryer to set, this is not something that you want to spray in your hair. This is a product that is really good for women of all races. So women with very fine hair, Caucasian women, may find that they like spraying the rose water into the hair. It cuts down on dandruff. It cuts down on the promotion of oil. It's antifungal, antibacterial. Um, as far as using it on the face, for women of all races, this is really good for the face. I highly recommend it for people who have dry skin. Not so much for people with um, overly, overly oily skin. If you have combination skin, if you have dry skin, this is really good. This is going to hydrate the skin. It is going to moisturize the skin. It is going to cut down on the production of acne and the production of oil. So, we don't recommend that you use the facial toner and the rose water. You're going to choose between the two, okay? I do like using both, but you don't necessarily have to because they both will provide you with the same type of results. What I like about our facial toner over our rose water is that the facial toner can be used on all skin types. Really, really good for overly oily skin. Really, really good to reduce the appearance of really over and enlarged pores, okay? Love it. Tightens, tones, antibacterial, great for fighting acne, great for cutting down on the production of oil. Great product, okay? This one is something that I like to use maybe only once a week. It moisturizes, it plumps, it's an antioxidant, and this is how this is going to work. So you just, excuse me, do a few sprays. Smells wonderful. Smells like fresh roses. And you can just wipe it in. And I like to just let mine sit and go about my business with getting dressed and creating whatever I have to create for the rest of the afternoon with my products or whatever I want to do. Or you can take a cotton ball and you can simply pat lightly. Don't wipe, just lightly pat the excess moisture off. Just lightly pat the excess moisture from the rose water off. And you're good to go, okay? Um... If you are um, wanting to moisturize your hair and provide extra nutrients, this is a great anti-aging product. It is great to cut down on hair loss. It is great to cut down on your hair shedding. So you would just spray a little bit into the hair and that's it. You do nothing else. For my Caucasian sisters, it is really wonderful to give you a beach look. So after you've washed your hair, okay, you can spray your hair with a little bit of this and it will kind of give you that wet, semi-curly um, beach look as though you've been at the beach and had fresh salt water flowing through your hair and you decided to let it naturally dry by the sun. That's what this will do for you. Okay, so you're saying, look, I have really, really dry skin. And after using your wonderful youth do to remove all of that excess dirt and oil, I'm going to need something to turn around and moisturize my skin. And that is where our moisturizer comes in. This is our facial serum. And it is rose hip seed oil. And it's actually infused with an actual rose hip. That's what you see floating around in there, a rose hip. So what I love about the way that you apply this product is I have a roll-on ball. This lasts you approximately mm, three or four months, okay? This is something that you can apply every day. After cleaning your skin, after using your toner and astringent, 
if you find that your skin is extremely dry, here's your moisturizer. Your skin doesn't have to even be extremely dry to use a moisturizer. And you can apply our facial serum and then apply your makeup afterwards. So um, I like it because it's high in vitamin E, high in vitamin E, um, just a really good product. So you're gonna take it one roll, one roll. This one roll that I've just applied under my eyes is going to cut down on darkness that some people have under their eyes. It's going to cut down on bags and wrinkles that sometimes people have forming under their eyes. And then after that, I like to just wipe it and pull it to the side. And I actually do this a couple times every morning. Pull it to the side. Pull it to the side. Okay? And then to prevent frown lines and extra wrinkles that will sometimes appear in here, I'll roll, roll, and then go upward. I try to do this several times in the morning. It's a part of my daily skincare regimen. Yes, 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 your lanes enhancing skincare. It's not only good to you, but it's good for you. The last thing I like to do is just take a little bit here. That helps with those frown lines across the forehead. I don't even know how to make myself get them. But anyway, some people have wrinkles across here and I would recommend that you do the same thing. This is a good time to do daily affirmations while you're doing this in the morning. All of my debts will be canceled all of my debts will be canceled. Whatever kind of affirmation that you might like to have. And that's it. So as you can see, my face is well moisturized, but it's not oily, okay? And that's a unique thing about this. So here we have grapeseed oil, coconut oil, rose hip seed oil infused with an actual rose hip. That's what's in this product. So, to get ready for the rest of my day, I'm going to um, have some meetings on Zoom and I want to look refreshed and wonderful for my Zoom meeting that starts in a little while. And so I've used techniques that I learned as a natural hairstylist to um, twist my um my roots i did a little bit of interlocking and a few little blue enhancements and so um hey there you go i am beautiful and ready to face the world on the internet with you know some virtual classes virtual tutorials uh virtual online meetings but i look well rest I look um, well rested rather. I look refreshed. My skin is clean. And so there you go. So I started out with the African black soap. I followed up with the Youth Do Astringent, excuse me, toner. Followed up with the Rose Water Toner and Moisturizer and closed out with our facial serum. So hopefully you've enjoyed a little lesson on how to care for your skin organically, organically with your Lanes Enhancing Skincare products. I've enjoyed spending this time with you. You've seen our entire skincare regimen for the face. I'll follow up with a few videos next time about our body scrubs that can actually be used on the face as well. And some of our antioxidant um, detox facial soaps and things to that nature. So just remember, your Lane's Enhancing Skincare products are not only good to you, they're good for you. Until next time, catch us on Instagram, Facebook, and visit our online store at your Lane's Enhancing skincareproducts.com. You can call in for a consultation at area code 
4933. Until next time, be blessed.